pattern uh, two or three years floating about now used uh, quite extensively over the border in Scotland Lake and Menteith in particular uh, this one is the pineapple and flesh and flame halo with the slightly smaller eye uh, fishes to, to great effect on the washing line another slight variant um, the fluorescent yellow and flame with the slightly larger eyes these will help your nymphs buzzers to an extent sit higher in the water uh, say a slightly larger eyes um, and I hope you enjoy the time on the B160 size 8 got some fire orange thread uh, in 70 again uh, my weapon of choice just cashing on Away. Give yourself a good better thread, see if the fritz spinning as you pull. Take a length of, in this case, 15mm fluorescent yellow. And just take a bit of time, strip away the core, it's a lot easier to tie in, a lot less fiddly without the mess. Once you're happy, Pinch it up that single turn, that'll do. Just pop that up there. Got some fluorescent flame red. This is a smaller 10 12 mil variant. Uh, again, take a couple of seconds and strip the core away. Strip the core away again, catch that in. Just loop it over the top. Nice and tight. Let's trap that in all the way down. Come in, oops, pop it up there, out of the way. But finish, because you can guarantee you'll knock it. That's it, all the way done. Yes, a bit of time to sort the fibres out. Yeah, just sit and be happy which one hit the, the 15 mil. Just pull it round half halfway. Just get the fibers back, and again, just keeping everything tight as you go. There goes one full turn. Okay, just any other fingers it gets a bit fiddly, but the effect is worth it. Bring your 10 mil over the top. Pop that behind it. On there, as you can see, one full turn already. And just take your time, touch and turn, making sure you've got all the, the fibres out of the way. Just bring your 10 mil over again. Let go there. And a couple of, again, just take your time, half a turn at a time. Don't be tempted to wind them both at the same time. You, you'll find yourself trapping more fibres this way. Just bring it over the top. Again, stroking the fibres back. Don't be afraid to lick your fingers. Get them in there and helps you get the fibres set back. Another half a turn. Again, fingers in. You can see the effect building up as you go. In 15mm over the top. And once you get within 3 or 4mm of the eye, as you can see, just bring that out of the way and stick it there. All the fibres up. Last one, bring it up tight. Put the fibres in. Try and demonstrate the best I can. Just cut that short and you're left with small section. Just take a few seconds. Pull away the fibres. You find it a lot easier to trap the thread. Next time. And just oop, pinch and loop. Pull it tight. Wet your fingers and a 
on his bed for your eyes and take your last final piece over the top see him again stroking the fibers back bring it up tight and then just hold up your fingers quick snip the fibers back and just tidy up the head here. These are, uh, as you can see, the 4mm, 5mm booby cord shaped on the Dremel. Um, scratch them in. Lay it on your thread and bring the thread over the top of your eye. Once you're happy halfway, just double check you're happy with them. Now we have one one point of secure connection, so stroke your fibers back. Just tidy up the head as you go, extra thread to use you. Try and bring your thread as close to the fridge as you can. Just go over the top one, two, three. Just pull that tight. And you want it as you can, just twist it, get the fingers in there, bring it up through the middle of your eyes and down. Before you pull tight, just get them in position the way you want them to sit. Slightly tilt it upward when you're there, so up again, one more turn. There we go. Just check you're happy with them central. And just draw the fibers back. And the eye, a couple of turns in front of the eye, aren't you happy? Just bring the eyes back slightly. In and snip that away. And just get the fibers, any stray ones just come in, sit with your eyes. Well, there, well, just be happy with everything. I'm putting them down the needle and spot a varnish, just get them fibers out of the way. Just being with that. Oh, well, just take your time. Get them in there. Set that to one side. There you go.